So in case you guys haven't seen, I uploaded a video that was for NHL 20, and in this video, I essentially proved that the awareness stats are pointless because they inflate slash deflate overall big time, but I was easily able to win the President's and Stanley Cup with a team of 79 overall players by setting 99 to every other stat, but minimizing the offensive and defensive awareness. So today, if it's not already obvious, by, well, the title as well as the introduction there, we are going to be testing awareness. So I'm going to have a player called Joe Aware, where I set all of his stats to 99, including offensive and defensive awareness. And then I'm showing you here, just again to prove that the abilities and everything else are the same. And the second player will have 36 for offensive and defensive awareness. Now let me tell you guys a little bit how I do this simulation if this is your first one. I put both the players on the same team so the chemistry will be the same. I simulate the first year over and over again with auto save off so that way we get the most accurate results. I turn off things such as injuries, computer trades, and other features as well to make sure that we are getting the most accurate result. So on that note, let's jump in with Joe Aware. And in the first year, 22 playoff games and 21 points, but the Golden Knights would beat the Toronto Maple Leafs in the Stanley Cup Finals to take home their first Stanley Cup as a franchise. And as you saw there, Joe Aware did in fact win the Calder. The next year, Toronto Maple Leafs finished 10th in the league, just shy of 100 points, 46 wins on the season. And I find, I, I'm very confused how this 99 overall player is on the first line of the Toronto Maple Leafs and is doing mediocre at best. I mean, I guess he is a rookie, but it doesn't really matter. He's 99 overall. Anyway, 22 playoff games again. However, this time it would be the Colorado Avalanche that would best the Toronto Maple Leafs in seven games of the Stanley Cup final. Joe Ware once again winning the Calder Trophy. The next year they missed the playoffs. They finished 21st in the league with 40 wins. It's very... I, like Some of the results we get during these simulations are so odd to me. I don't understand how it happens, but uh, Joe Aware put up 79 points. Tampa Bay Lightning win the Stanley Cup this year. Um, Mr. Aware did still get the Calder, but here are your Toronto Maple Leafless playoffs. Yeah, interesting stuff. And they go on to win the President's Trophy next year because, of course, they do. 110 points on the year, 51 wins, 76 points in a plus 19 from Joe Aware, 14 playoff games with 9 points and a plus 4 for this playoff run. But the Edmonton Oilers would win the Stanley Cup. Obviously, McDavid had himself another year. Not too surprising there. Joe Aware once again winning the Calder and the Tampa Bay Lightning put out the Leafs in round number 2, taking 7 games. The next year, they finish only under the Blues, second in the league with 106 points. We get 89 points from Joe Aware and he was a plus 41 this time around. First round exit, only five games, with three points and a dash three. And the Minnesota Wild are going to be your Stanley Cup champions this year. Joe Aware did win the Calder. And as you see, the Tampa Bay Lightning made it to the final, but the Leafs could not get past round one. The Philadelphia Flyers put them out. The next year, they win the President's Trophy once more, 114 points. We get 90 points from Joe Aware, and he was a plus 46 on the season. Another first round exit though, he'd be point a game in the playoffs, playing seven games, putting up seven points. The East win the cup this year as Ovechkin takes home his second. The Washington Capitals beat the Golden Knights in the Stanley Cup Finals. I guess a bit of a rematch there. The Toronto Maple Leafs will finish fifth this year, 103 points, and they get 76 points out of Joe Ware, who is a plus 19 on the season. First round exit once more. Just over a point a game, six playoff points in five games and was a plus three. The New Jersey Devils go on to win the Stanley Cup this year. Obviously, a Calder once more for Joe Aware. And the Leafs are wrecked by the Rangers in round one, taking five games. Toronto finishes second in the league this year, only behind the Montreal Canadiens. Find that pretty strange, but 84 points from Joe Aware will lead the Toronto Maple Leafs this year. Point a game in the playoffs, but once again, a first round exit. And the St. Louis Blues go on to win a Stanley Cup. Toronto will go down to the Tampa Bay Lightning six games in round number one. Now year nine of Mr. Aware. Leafs finish 12th. Joseph puts up 87 points and is a plus 24 on the season. 52 pims, which I find odd considering he has 99 discipline. Anyway, 
five points in five games, aka another first round exit. The stars of the Dallas variety, so you know like the stars above Dallas, that's them right there. They win the Stanley Cup. The Jerks beat the Leafs round one, only five games. That's all it took them. The Leafs finished second this year. The Stars beat them, as you can see there. Joe Aware puts up 93 points and is a plus 46. Another great year for him. And yeah, he won the Calder every single year. Five games played in the playoffs with four points and a plus four. Another first round exit. The Broad Street Bullies take home the Stanley Cup. And as you saw there, and as I mentioned, yeah, Joe Aware won the Calder every single year. The eventual Stanley Cup winning Flyers beat the Leafs in round one, taking five games. Now here is Yosef Unaware. 72 overall, so those two stats affect overall that drastically. It is a big change, and as you can see, the attributes and abilities are all the same, except for, of course, the offensive and defensive awareness, both 36. So they have been minimized extremely. Settings are all the same as well, and the lines are all the same. Matthews, Marner, and this time it'll be unaware instead of aware. Defense... And just to show you, the goalies are the same as well. The first year, the Toronto Maple Leafs finish fifth in the league with 105 points. Joe Unaware's inaugural season. He puts up 50 points in 82 games and is a plus 33 for his first season. A 17 shooting percentage, that's pretty good. A first round exit and only two points in seven playoff games. The Mighty Ducks of Anaheim do go on to win a Stanley Cup. And the Calder would not fall into the hands of Joe for the first time in this video, but this is unaware. So yeah, a first round exit, Tampa Bay Lightning beat them in seven. The next year, the Leafs finished third in the league, 114 points. Mr. Joe puts up 38 and is a plus 26, so you can see already it is making quite the difference. 11 games played in the playoffs and seven points. Chicago wins the Stanley Cup this time and Zegras wins the Calder. The Toronto Maple Leafs make it to round number two, but Tampa Bay gets the better of them again. And this time, it is a sweep. The Leafs finish 13th in year number three of Unaware with 94 points. Joe Unaware will put up 44 points and be a plus 24 this season. They kept sending him down to the AHL after as well, so I had to go search for him to find his stats. And it was kind of annoying, but it is what it is. C'est la vie. Dallas Stars. Win themselves a Stanley Cup. Lucas Raymond with the Calder this year. And the Leafs did not make it out of round one. The Buffalo Sabres beat them in seven games. Now heading into the fourth year of Unaware. The team finishes second in the league. Only the Bruins above them. We got 50 points from Joe and a plus 23 in the playoffs. They got swept only four points and Joe was a dash four. The Bruins go on to win the Stanley Cup. Mercer wins the Calder. And the Leafs would be swept by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Yeah, the Lightning really seem to be getting the better of them. Eighth place finish in year number five of Joe Unaware, 101 points. We get 38 from Joseph with a plus 26. And 54 penalty minutes. I'm pretty sure that's the exact amount he had last year. 23 playoff games this year, though. 11 points and a plus nine. And they win the Stanley Cup. Something Joe Aware knows very something that Joe aware is not aware about there we go all right a sweep in the finals against the Preds too what an absolute legendary performance that is 91 points will get the Leafs 13th this year but we only get 35 points from Joe unaware and he puts up a plus nine in that category playoffs seven games three points three goals and the jerks go on to win the Stanley Cup Lucas Raymond will win himself the Calder in this version of the simulation this year, the Habs would be the team to eliminate the Leafs this time. Round one, seven games. The Leafs bounce back next year. Next simulation, I guess, of the same year. They finish third. We get 38 points from Joe and a plus 24. Four playoff games with only one apple and a dash three. The Colorado Avalanche take home the Stanley Cup and Zegris wins himself the Calder this time. The Leafs would be... Swept by the Panthers this time in the first round. The next year, they finished fifth in the league with 101 points and 46 wins. Mr. Unaware puts up 55 and is a plus 39 this time. Good stuff. Only six playoff games, meaning another first round exit and a dash seven. Not a playoff performer, clearly, but it is what it is. 
He did end up winning the Calder this year, though, so good for you, Joe. But the Bruins got the better of the Leafs in round one, and they did it in six games. In the second to final year, we get a seventh-placed finish from the Leafs just short of 100 points. Joe Unaware puts up 41 and is a plus 26, and 25 playoff games with 17 points. Very deep playoff run. In fact, they win it. Yep, second Stanley Cup. Somehow, the team has won more Stanley Cups with Joe Unaware than they did with Joe Aware. And they beat the Chicago Blackhawks in the finals there, taking seven games. In the final year, the Leafs finish fourth. We get 48 points from Unaware and a plus 32 on the season. For the playoffs, only seven games, so a first-round exit, one goal, and was a flat for the plus-minus. Tampa Bay Lightning win the Stanley Cup. The Calder goes to Zegras, and the team to beat the Leafs in very fitting fashion for the last time is the Tampa Bay Lightning. They do it in seven. So here's the totals for Joe, whether he was aware or not. And the goals is actually pretty close. There's not a whole lot separating them there. Assists is where the big difference happens. Yeah, that's a large gap. Points is also a large gap because of assists. 437 total from Unaware and 822 total from Joe Aware. We also got more game winners out of Unaware, but I would say that's not necessarily super important. However, it does also link to the goals factor, which I found very interesting. Plus minus was about the same and Unaware actually played more playoff games. There wasn't a whole lot of trophies to keep track of this time. Two Stanley Cups for Unaware and only one Calder. There's only one year that Joe Unaware was able to take home that trophy, whereas Joe Aware took it home every single year and did not win any Stanley Cups, but won two President's Trophies. So do with these stats what you will, but I thought this one was very interesting and quite weird, to be honest. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon.